Well, Paul, looking at the results, a uh, victory today would have put us back on top of the table, but had to settle for a point in the end. Yeah, I mean, very positive, I thought, the way we played, though. Much better than the last two home games here. I thought Gateshead sort of sat in a bit for a point, and it's hard sometimes to break those teams down, but we created lots and lots of good chances today, and, uh, you know, say, Craig Dundas uh, off of... Uh, Louis John's flicked header should have scored. That's another five yard, you know, just a straightforward goal for me. Um, we then hit the post as well. You know, Josh Taylor's a great move with Dundo. You know, Carl hit the hit the bar. And I thought second half we absolutely dominated proceedings. Tommy, I think most of us would have put our, our mortgage on him scoring that particular goal. Uh, and then Kwame Thomas also got a great chance. His first touch has let him down a bit. But in general, I thought our overall performance was excellent. Bringing Kwame into the side today, um, up front, how did you feel he played? I thought he did really well on a basis of, you know, four or five under-23 games for Coventry. It got us back also to being able to play the way that we've been playing with, uh, you know, with Dundas and uh, um, Kwame, six foot two, six foot three. So I thought we looked more like ourselves, uh, which was important. Uh, special mention, I think, for the for Simon Morton there, who's had to cover in at centre half today. I thought he was outstanding. Plus he got the goal. Um, but you know we're bare bones, uh, and that was a team performance there that they should feel proud of. They're just disappointed. I think they didn't get all three. Two penalties, one for each side. Um, both soft, them? both soft in my view. Um, technically both fouls. Um, Louis was very soft in terms of just tugging his arm, uh, and I think they'll argue that Dunn's you know was relatively soft as well. But the referee's given him. I don't think it made any. You know, actually gave the goal some games in the you know the game some goals in the end. Um, but. You know, we didn't have a didn't have a shot on goal the whole game, and um, you know we had enough pressure there to have won the game here. But I think we've got to look at the performance. You know, I think the fact that you're just saying to me there if we won today, which we should have done, we'd have been top. Um, you know, with the amount of injuries we've got, uh, that's a, still it's a fantastic um, achievement. And like I say, I, I genuinely think come the end of September, October, we'll get stronger because that's when our, you know, all the players will be back. And I think that we're um, we need to keep going up until that point. Looking at injuries, how's Nicky Bailey? He looked a bit sore when he came off. Yeah, I mean, it's a scratched, you know, it's literally it's a finger goes straight into his eyeball. So um, he'd lost vision in that eye at the moment. So we're not sure uh, how he's going to be for Tuesday. I think everyone else came through it okay. Brilliant. Mm, looks, you mentioned Tuesday away to Dagon and they've, they've lost at Hartlepool today. So, but so it's a top of the table clash. Ish, yeah. I mean, they, um, you know, they're a good side, especially at home. Um, and again, if you look at their results, they've, you know, they, they power. They're a very powerful team, and their front three are excellent. I think, and uh, we're going to have to really defend well. Um, as I said, with our three centre halves out, it's a concern. But if the uh, back four can do as well as did today, then you know, we'll give ourselves a chance. Brilliant. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Cheers. Cheers.